Welcome to Mathematics with Ams. Uh, today's topic will be a grade 12 topic in the uh, South African syllabus, mathematical syllabus, differential calculus. Introduction. Calculus is one of the central branches of mathematics and was developed from algebra and geometry. It is built on the concept of limits, which will be discussed in this chapter. Calculus consists of two related ideas, differential calculus and integral calculus. We will only be dealing with differential calculus in this chapter and will explore how it can be used to solve optimization problems and finding rates of change. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and give me a huge like. Limits part one. In the previous video, I spoke about this, but just as a reminder that when dealing with limits, we only care about where we are going and not whether we get there. So take note where we are going and not whether we get there. If you move towards the edge of a cliff, for instance, the limit of your movement towards the edge, well, it cannot be further than the edge, because if you do that, you are going to fall and die. So therefore, the limit or the cutting off point will be the edge. And of course, as your distance approaches zero, as you move closer and closer to the edge. Right. Look at the third bullet. In uh, there, I have a rectangle, and in the second diagram, if I had add half of the white, which is the blue, and in the third, I add half of the blue, which is the red, and in the fourth diagram, I add the green, which is half of the red, etc., etc. And that's how I can go until you are moving closer and closer to completing a new rectangle. Whether you will ever be able to do that, well, that is questionable, but you will move forever. That means to infinity to complete a rectangle. So therefore, the limit will then be a rectangle. The next one, if you look at the function 1 over x, which of course is our hyperbola, if you remember. So if n is a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, to infinity, that's your natural numbers. If you do your substitution, you'll get one, a half, a third, a quarter, which moves closer and closer to zero. So therefore, the limit of one of x, as x approach infinity, will be zero. Uh, if you look at the following page, there you are, your limit uh, rules. Please go through them, double check whether you understand them. The, it's quite clear how the rules work. Just look at number 9, for instance. The limit of 1 over x is x approach 0. In this case, the limit doesn't exist or it is undefined. All the other limits are quite straightforward, not difficult to understand. Right, the, the first special case is infinity divided by infinity. Now, if an expression, both the numerator and denominator approach infinity as the independent variable approaches infinity, the form infinity or infinity is arrived at. Because no meaning can be attached to this case, the original expression must be transformed into another form if possible. Look at the example. The limit as x approaches infinity of 2x over x plus 1. So x is approaching infinity in the numerator and the denominator. So therefore, that doesn't make sense. How can we change this? Well, look at the second step. Just divide each term by x, and then that will solve the problem. Then you can see the limit of 2 is 2, limit of 1 is 1, and the limit of 1 over x is 0. The second special case is the case 0 divided by 0. If an expression, both the numerator and the denominator approach 0, as the independent variable approaches a number or infinity, the form 0 of 0 is arrived at. Because no meaning can be attached to this case, the original expression must be transformed into another form if possible. And factorization, of course, 
can be applied here. Look at the example. The limit as x approaches 2 of x squared minus 4 over x minus 2, then you'll notice that in both cases you'll get 0 over 0 if you replace x by 2. So the top one is sum in difference. If I factorize sum in difference, I can cancel the x minus 2s, and now I'm left with a limit of x plus 2, which of course is 2 plus 2, which is 4. There's also a, a link to a very nice uh, YouTube uh, video. Please take some time to have a look at it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. So please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Ahmed Suleiman signing off. See you next time.